Installation Preparation Autosys Workload Automation Hardware Topology In this module, we will explore the different hardware topologies available in Autosys Workload Automation. The hardware topologies are Non-High Availability Mode or Single Server Mode High Availability Mode Dual Event Server Mode and High Availability with Dual Event Server Mode HADS. The first topology we have is the Non-High Availability Mode or Single Server Mode, where each Autosys component is installed on a separate server. This configuration doesn't implement high availability. Under this topology, we install Autosys components on Server A, Server B, and Server D. The system agents can be installed on several servers. On Server C, we have the Autosys database. The Server A is the Autosys server, where there are installed the scheduler, the application server, the agent, the web server, the SDK, and the client. The Server B is the Web UI server. Server D is the CAEM server. The system agents are installed on each server where jobs will run. And the Server C is the event server, a database server where the Autosys database will be. It can be Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, or Sybase. This topology is the most basic type. It can be used in a production environment, but does not have a failover option. There are risks of data loss and high recovery times in case of failure. Since Autosys is a mission-critical application, the recommendation is not to use this type of topology for a production environment. It is more suitable for test environments that are not so critical. In the case of using this topology in a production environment, the recommendation is to have at least the event server in high availability on a cluster-aware database. For example, Oracle Rack or Microsoft SQL Server always on. The Autosys Dual Event Server mode can also be used to implement high availability for the database in case the database doesn't provide a failover solution. The following is the High Availability Mode topology. In this topology, each of the Autosys components is duplicated for redundancy. We have two Autosys servers, the Primary Scheduler and the Shadow Scheduler. In case of primary server failure, the Shadow Scheduler takes control. Web UI can be installed in High Availability Mode. Under this configuration, the web UI instances in a high availability group share the web UI and reporting databases and use a common instance of CAEM. Web UI configurations are stored in the common database, and changes to the configurations are available to all web UI instances in the high availability group. CAEM provides also a high availability configuration. When CAEM is configured this way, the primary instance is the Active Security Authentication and Authorization Server. The secondary instance is the Standby Security Authentication and Authorization Server. If the primary instance fails, the application failover from the primary to the secondary CAEM. The High Availability Mode does not provide a failover solution for the Autosys Event Server, the database. Under this scenario, the database's high availability must be provided by the database itself or by using the Autosys Dual Event Server configuration. The Autosys High Availability Mode provides an internal failover solution. However, Autosys servers can also be implemented in a highly available cluster environment using cluster management software such as Red Hat Cluster Suite or Microsoft Clustering Solutions. This configuration provides a failover solution for the scheduler and the application server. 
We recommend using this option when you need a failover solution unless you do not have cluster management software installed on your system. If you don't have cluster management software, the high availability mode provides an internal solution to implement AutoSys server's high availability. Dual Event Server Mode You can configure an AutoSys workload automation instance to run using two event servers, databases, and this configuration is named Dual Event Server Mode. The Dual Event Server Mode provides high availability for the database by running two event servers that are synchronized to maintain identical data, including object definitions and events. AutoSys workload automation reads from one event server and writes to both the event servers simultaneously. If you lose one event server due to hardware, software, or network problems, operations can continue on the second event server without losing data or functionality. This feature is independent of any database replication or redundancy. When you configure AutoSys to run in dual event server mode and one event server goes down, AutoSys automatically rolls over to the second event server and continues running in single event server mode. After you recover the event server that failed, you can reconfigure AutoSys workload automation to run in dual event server mode. Use the dual event server mode only when your database doesn't provide high availability. High Availability with Dual Event Server HADS You can implement AutoSys in High Availability mode with Dual Event Servers. This configuration is known as High Availability with Dual Event Server HADS. This configuration provides an internal AutoSys solution to implement high availability for the AutoSys server with the primary and shadow scheduler and the database with a primary and secondary event server. Under this scenario, a third AutoSys server is required, the tiebreaker scheduler. The tiebreaker scheduler is a scheduler process that runs on a third computer. It cannot run on the same computer as the primary scheduler or the shadow scheduler. The tiebreaker scheduler updates the database to confirm that it is still running and logs changes in the state of high availability. At all other times, the tiebreaker scheduler runs idle. The tiebreaker scheduler resolves contentions and eliminates situations where one scheduler takes over because of network problems. The primary and shadow schedulers rely on database updates from the tiebreaker scheduler to determine the state of the high availability. In this module, we have learned the following AutoSys workload automation hardware topologies. Non-high availability mode or single server mode. Basic topology that doesn't provide high availability. High availability mode provides a high availability solution except for the AutoSys event server. Dual event server mode to implement high availability for the AutoSys event server with two databases and the high availability with dual event server that combines high availability mode with dual event server mode to implement high availability for the AutoSys servers and the event server.